So ChatGPT just kind of broke YouTube with their new AI image generation model. You can literally take any thumbnail and replace it with your face, like these couple examples here. So now anyone can have Mr. Beast level thumbnails regardless of your experience. Here's how to do it. Now, the very first step is obviously be logged into ChatGPT. Now I'm using the 4.0 model for this because it's a little bit faster. You can use any of these other models here. So one important note is that because this image generation model is so popular right now, Yesterday, Sam just said that the free tier in particular is only going to have three generations per day because it's literally melting their GPUs. But if you're on the pro plan, you can easily still do this as many times as you want. Now, the first thing that I want to do is actually find a thumbnail that is going to be relevant for my audience. So as a fun experiment, let's just do a Mr. Beast thumbnail first, and then we'll get a little bit more tactical in how we can do this for our thumbnails in our niche, because this is not going to be relevant for any video that I'm going to create. I survived five deadliest places on earth. So how you're going to actually grab this thumbnail, there's a couple of ways to do it. You can, you know, zoom in quite a lot and, and kind of, you know, take a terrible screenshot this way. Or how I like to do it is copy and pasting that title over to Google Images. And you're going to be able to find that thumbnail right here. And you can open this image in a new tab. And then you're going to be able to grab that thumbnail right from there and just download that like so. Now, the next thing in here in ChatGPT, you're going to click the plus icon, upload from computer. You can also do this from your phone, by the way, and you can see the end result example here, but I'm going to upload that thumbnail here. And then I'm also going to upload another image of myself. So let me grab a different selfie to try and get another result. So here's a straight on photo of myself, a selfie that I took. I'm going to open that and I'm just going to put in a simple prompt like replace the face in the thumbnail with my face as exact as possible. And so this is going to actually take a minute or two to generate because there's a lot of processing power that's happening here. A few moments later. And in no time at all, it completely replaced Mr. Beast's face with my face. It recreated the entire thumbnail. It added the little blood and everything on here. This is mind blowing. This took Mr. B so many iterations. He has so many team members creating thumbnails like this. And I just did it in two minutes. But let's be a little more strategic here because I don't create videos like Mr. Beast. I create videos around how to use AI and how to make money using AI, which by the way, subscribe if you're interested in that. But I'm going to find a thumbnail on how to do exactly that and be a lot more strategic with it because listen, this takes me a lot of time to create thumbnails. So I'm going to type in something related to my YouTube channel, like how to use AI to make money. And I'm going to find a thumbnail that I really like. This one in particular is pretty good here. Get rich using AI, it's just the money and the chat GPT logo. And so I'm going to do that same thing. I'm just going to copy and search for that video over here on Google images. There's that thumbnail. I'm going to open this image in a new tab. And here we go. We have that thumbnail. I'm just going to save that image here. And I'm going to do the same exact thing here again. I'm going to upload this guy's thumbnail. I'm going to upload an image of my face again. And this time I'm going to make it a little bit different. So it's not 100% copying that person's thumbnail because this is getting into weird ethics territory, right? Where it's copyright stealing. So I just wanted to show you how to do this because it's important to know how this works because people could be doing this for your thumbnails as well. But I think this is really going to enhance how we create thumbnails in general. So instead of just using that same exact prompt, I'm going to do something a little bit different here. Just one sec here. So I'm going to change this slightly. I'm going to say replace the face in the thumbnail with my face, but I'm also going to change it. So I'm going to say swap the chat GPT logo for the word AI and change the background color to purple. A few minutes later. And so let's be honest here. It's not perfect, right? It did it, but it made it a square image instead. So something got lost in translation here. That's why prompting is so important. So let me retry this one more time and see if we can get this working. So I'm just going to type in a simple update, like keep the original aspect ratio of the thumbnail 1920 by 1080. You cut off the text. 
And there we have it. We have our updated thumbnail that is unique and original. Now, granted, it made me look a little fatter than I think I actually am <laughs> in real life, but this is still pretty freaking amazing. Now, the aspect ratio still looks a little off to me here, but you can just pull this into Photoshop or Canva or anything like that, and pretty much resize it pretty quickly. This must have taken so much time for this person to create. As a creator, you know, this is ethical concern. This is potential legal concern. I'm not 100% sure. Let me know in the comments. Do you think that this is plagiarism? Do you think that this is straight up stealing? I think it's open for interpretation a little bit. I think it's riding the line, but I did just want to show you how to do this. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Now, if you found this video tutorial helpful, I have another great tutorial right here. And if you like AI and want to learn how to make money with AI and grow your social media following, Throw me a subscribe.